Hello everyone, welcome to Bill's History and War Game World. We are in Hagerstown, Maryland, and Brad is about to uh, be our game master for a game. And Brad, take it away. Well, welcome to Friendship Lodge 84 in Hagerstown, Maryland. Uh, I'm going to be introducing these guys to m the rules that I wrote myself, Mini Men with Mini Balls. If you know anything about Civil War ammunition, you'll get the joke. Uh, we just have a simple uh, meeting engagement somewhere in the Shenandoah Valley. It is not any specific battle. Uh, it's just a, uh, basically a pickup game. All right, and um, I'll get asked a couple questions. Your rule system you're using, will that be available at some time for purchase? I hope so. All right, and the next thing is, um, what scale are we using? 15 millimeter. And type of dice? Six-sided dice. Six-sided dice. and. I believe uh, the amount of gamers you have for today's game is around, what, eight of us? Uh, eight confirmed. Uh, we may have two more. And uh, I think I did see Goober the Traveling Bear struck by earlier. Uh, so I believe he'll be taking command of Confederate forces. And I guess right now we're going to be picking different uh, troops. And there he is now, Goober the Traveling Bear. And he's wearing his Confederate uniform with his licensed battlefield guide metal. All right, well, stay tuned for more video action. We have Joseph, Walt, Kevin, Derek here, and Brad's friends too. Thank you. While the game is going along, we are on turn one. The Yankee forces, the Superior Union Army, is on the left of the table. The Confederates are on the right, and they are advancing with a rebel yell. 15 millimeter. Beautiful table. And I think we're going to have a Union victory, but we will see. Right. We'll come back and uh, you'll watch the progression of the game. So, Commander Joseph, uh, how are things going on the Yankee lines? Oh, well, we, battles, you know, there have been a little artillery fire, uh, but things haven't really uh, been mixed up yet. All but, right. Uh, we're, uh, it, it's coming soon, I believe. And Commander Derek, I see you're in command of this cavalry brigade. How are things going for you and the Confederate side? Snafu. Snafu. Yeah. Nah, everything's going splendid right now. No, nothing bad to report. Nothing bad to report. We're starting turn two. Show us how it's done, Walt. Well, here we are. The first melee going in. Watts charged the walls with his Confederate infantry. He's going to plow into John's <laughs> cavalry. Can no. John hold? Stay yeah, we tuned. don't fight that now. We wait till everything else is done. Right. Um, so he's going to get Since shot you made first. contact, there's no shooting of, of either. Jimmy, he was a little different. Well, back. the game is going along on turn right three. And... Right now, it's up in the air as both sides advance to take those victory areas. Modifier there. What's okay, your we are here for the first melee well, so action. There. Walt's attacking You're charging, the so you get a plus one. Mm -hmm. They're figuring You're out the modifiers. You're defending hard cover. You get a plus one. Um, you each, you have two line officers, so you get plus two. You have one line officer, you get plus one. All right. Now, is he in the combat or not? Yeah, he's right where he's at, yeah. But is he attached to the unit or not? No. No. Okay. So you don't get him. Um, you're unformed. They now you're minus two. So what were you? Plus two? Yeah. And now you're minus two. So you're just a flat up five. One, two, three, four, five. You get five dice. So John of the you Union get Cavalry one, gets five two, dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus whatever your bonus was. Now when I go to this, well, it, it, don't I get a plus two for form versus unform? Yes. And I get one for charging. Yes. And then you told me I had two officers. Yes. So it would be five. Okay. Dismount. So five and nine? Yep. So 14, 14 dice? 14 dice. So I get five and I want to use that. You get an extra D6 for that. So I need one more dice. Here we go, everyone. 
Fourteen six is still loose. John needs another <laughs> die. <laughs> oh, I'll just, I'll I need another one. dice. Oh, one. Oh, no. Okay, here comes the big dice roll. Walk gets no. fourteen Here's dice. Ones and twos still. Uh, ones and twos. So ones and twos are hit. Two, four, six. Six. Up to the wall. So yeah. and the four. Just hold right there. Yep. Um, so Walt's Confederate one Regiment one that one charged one okay, takes yeah, two yeah. casualties. So start once, off, I did like five in my so first roll. Yeah. And now Things Walt is rolling for his let them hits. The guys on the fence. Six, seven, let eight, them eight nine, ten, ten, eleven. You know, eleven. And le Walt does eleven. What's it, count two? Two, count two? Eight, one, two, nine, ten, eleven. The units in the cornfield, they go to the fence. Is that regiment gone? Well, it's going to take a morale check. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Watch them through. Okay, now. Just try to stop them in the mud. Yep. So you lost two stands to one. These guys down. Okay. Then Each of you roll to, uh, 1d6. And then they'll be able to hold the crossroads. So now they're doing the morale checks, yeah, everyone. No, Walt, this is roll a morale one. check. This is melee that. results. Oh, uh, melee uh, results. Uh, so, All right. Yeah. Now, so we so add to that the number of stands that, that you took off of the enemy. Uh, so you, you got rolled a 5. And you rolled a 3. Okay. And you're defending a fortified position. So you add another one. 6. So you're at 6. Your defender, you're a six, attacker and the attacker three. is a three. A -W. Attacker withdraws. Got a root okay. here. So, so you just fall back six inches, okay. and you're disorganized. Okay. Yes. So, <laughs> the Union Cavalry held the line, and Walt's been driven back. It's amazing, everyone. It's unprecedented. It's unprecedented. And we'll swing to Kevin. <laughs> it's that. Kevin, as a union, off, union officer in our line, what do you think would happen and with Walt being driven back? And the fact that I rolled a wall. I thought it was well, inevitable. I wanted, to get up to, I wanted to get up to He's that a wall. descendant of, no, he's an ancestor of charge. <laughs> okay. But now you're going to need to relieve him because there ain't yeah, enough. All right, well, that, that's, that's a quick no, intermission of our game. Was, I, I'm doing a test first right. for audio to that part. All right, here we are, our war game continuing in Hagerstown, and I have Larry here. Larry, this is your first war game. It is. Uh, tell us what you think about it. It's definitely interesting. Uh, luckily, it's a good group of guys that are being very patient with me. Um, I've always been kind of curious how this works, so it's a, it's a great learning experience. Can you point to us where your command is? I'll, I'm down on the table now with the camera. Yes. Where are you in? Are you a Confederate or Union? Uh, Confederates. Uh, right now I have uh, two units down here, three units up here on the road. Okay, so it looks like you're going against Kevin and Joseph. And do you think the Confederates will be victorious today? We're going to go with yes. Yes, all right. Well, um, Kevin, how are you doing over on the Union side? I think we're doing fine. All right, uh, our well. Our cavalry has smashed Walt's attack, so. And, yes, Walt was driven back in his uh, charge across the uh, road to where the Union cavalry were holding that flank. But he'll be back. But Walt will be back. He's, uh, he's like the terminator of miniature war gamers. He just doesn't stop. <laughs> All right, well, that was our, this is our lunch break intermission video. Thank you. Let me so, look at the rules there, Kevin. So we just had uh, an okay. exciting turn here with this Confederate cavalry operated by in command by Derek, try to charge into Kevin's infantry, the Iron Brigade. Derek caused one, one casualty to the Iron Brigade, What's and out? Kevin caused uh, 14. Derek's Confederate Cavalry is now in no. route Do I have to, like, and running off the table. Uh, With a hole in the line, Kevin yeah. probably will take that bridge. Up all the Confederate casualties and can we gather up all uh, the Navy casualties? Wait a minute. All right, we're at the uh, the end of our battle here with Brad Ireland, who uh, was our great game master. Brad, take it away. There were five objective markers on the table. Two were placed by uh, by the respective sides, so the Union chose their objective here. They still hold their objective. The Confederates chose their objective over here, that camp. They still hold that, so that's a wash. And then we have the three wagons in the center over here. This wagon is clearly behind Confederate lines, but you got this federal unit here up close to it, so I'm calling that a wash. This one is kind of in between the lines. I'm calling this one a wash. What? 
We're right next to it. Well, you're, it's behind you here, but yeah. it's behind over here as well. We got Confederate units over here. So this one's a wash. But this one is capture. It is definitely behind the Confederates. Yeah. Confederates have advanced into the orchard. They're fighting over here at the church and holding their ground with reinforcements coming up. This is definitely a Confederate victory point. The lost cause. Uh, it strikes again. So, wow. Uh, so it's a minor Confederate victory. A minor Confederate victory. And Kevin, uh, <laughs> tell me about the Union. What did, uh, how did we do? Well, I'm told we lost. We lost. And on that flank, I believe the man who does want to be on the camera is Walt. And I think Walt and Larry, our new fella today, uh, really pushed that flank. John, who is commanding the Union Cavalry on the far left, did well. He repulsed Walt's attacks. So much so that Walt decided to attack um, Bill's uh, troops and <laughs> pushed him out of the, the orchard, I guess. Yeah. Derek was our overall commander. And I think... Um, we're going to say thank you, Brad Ireland, for having us all here. Indeed. And we really appreciate gaming in Hagerstown, Maryland. And um, that's about it for Bill's history and War Game World. Stay safe, be kind, and prizes. be courteous. Prizes. I promise cash prizes. Oh, that's right. We get to take home figures. No, cash <laughs> prizes. So the Confederates won, so you get to dole out the cash prize. Oh, ah! And I need the Union players to... to um, Elect an MVP for their side. I think John you know, did really good on that flank. Two new gamers. Yeah. Oh, thank you. There you go. Against really adverse it's so it's like All right. Well, we're going to say goodbye from Bill's History of War Game World, and thank you for watching.